So recently I found this very cool picture on ZooChat and then there was another one and immediately I remembered wonderful concept of the Copenhagen Zoo and also some other concept I had in mind. So I decided to make a concept of a circular design but not with one circle but actually with two and how that turned out to be looking, well, have a look, let's get going. All right, welcome to this time lapse of the concept art drawing. And uh, let's change to a bit more chilly music of Planet uh, Zoo, shall we? Now, I'm going to talk you through the design process because actually this time around there has been um, a lot of thoughts that um, went into the drawing. Um, I'm not, not going to say that, you know, there weren't too many thoughts behind the latest one I did for Kuali Zoo. Um, but with the Kuali Zoo one, simply because the Kuali uh, Zoo has a certain vibe going on um, the, the, the frame was kind of set already um, but this one over here um, being part of the realistic habitat series um, has a different focus and I wanted to achieve something that a modern day zoo at the moment would do and um, so I had to incorporate a couple of things so first of all simply because I spend way too much time with Mike and that said um, we are not spending that much time because he's very busy at the moment but um, simply because Mike Sheets uh, also one of the wonderful members of the Kuali Zoo team um, um, is very obsessed with realistic designs, but not only with realistic designs, but also with, um, I'm gonna say, engaging designs, because um, there is a difference between realistic and modern design plus engaging design. So what, what do I mean by that is basically, um, whenever you have a dead end, the dead end is creating an issue with the overall flow of whatever you want to create. It doesn't even matter if it's a zoo or if it's a, uh, a park or if it's a theme park or if it's something else. Um, as soon as you lose the flow, you have to have a certain reason for the people or give them a certain reason why they would go there. Um, and so I, I'm I tried to come up with something that would engage people and uh, this is why I came up with this kind of design of an eight. Um, these two circles kind of merged together, um, making the people or the guests actually walk through the sanctuary without too much interfering with the Amal Lippard um, habitat in general because I wanted to also grant them some privacy. And the way I did this is with a um, difference of elevation so that we do incorporate the pathway actually into the barrier design. Um, which is going to help with a lot of um, noise reduction for the animals, but also to make sure that the animals do not see the people too many times. Um, and uh, it will be more visible in game, hopefully later on. Um, I feel like I have found a very good way of doing it. But at the same time, I don't want to create weird viewing angles for the guests so that the guests always have a good angle of what's going on. Um, a lot of nature will help by that as well. But, you know, we are going to talk about that once the build is in uh, in. Um, and that said, I'm also not going to spend too much time on too much foliage in here as well because, you know, there are a couple of issues with too much foliage in this realistic build because I want to also go a bit more into the, um, you know, rural actual um, habitat in, in which the Amo leopard lives, which is, you know, high up in the Asian mountains rather than too much in the rainforest. And uh, again, that said, the way how Eben did actually, um, you know, uh, improve my habitat in the latest uh, wonderful episode of Kuali, um, he obviously paid tribute to the location we were building in, which is way more tropical area anyways, even though it was the highlands, uh, we are still in the Kuali Zoo in a very tropical um, climate area. That means we also have to pay tribute to that by using a lot more foliage than the original habitat would have of the Amo Leopard. And that said, um, I wanted to go this time around for a bit more of an open layout. However, um, that doesn't mean that in the the final layout we might not bring some more uh, plants in to make it a bit more you know um hidden for the leopard itself but now we are already done with most of the um outlines and it's kind of cool um now let's talk a bit more about the process of designing that. So you know that I have done a couple of these concepts lately um, and it's always a kind of thing um, to improve over time. And I think with this one over here, I have improved dramatically, um, not only with the design of the habitat itself, but also with the process of drawing it in Photoshop. Now, um, there were a couple of techniques I found online to make these uh, concepts a lot more um, nice. And one of them um, I'm just applying over here and it is uh, using using the um, house that I call in English, um, 
the tool in which you can merge the colors together. Um, while you have a brush and so on, you are using basically as if you were using your finger in real life to, you know, just crop the colors together. You're using that tool in uh, here as well to merge the colors a bit more together. So it kind of creates that a little bit more concept art vibe of colors going together. So otherwise it's going to be too blocky, but you would only apply that in certain areas of the landscaping. So I did this. Um, and the other thing is I, I worked a lot more with shadows, which I basically completely ignored last time around. So this time around, I tried to use a bit more shadows to create a certain depth of the build, as you can see with the tunnels and stuff. Um, I used different shades of gray and also um, trying to really um, you know, uh, work together with the outlines you build rather than against them. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm filling in most of the stuff and then just kind of adding some other colors later on to just give the contrast that I was looking for. Uh, so overall, I was very pleased with the result. I did kind of, you know, uh, correct certain things later on as I saw some minor changes here and there. Um, but overall, I think the process this time around was a lot more smooth um, because I just found my way of, of doing some shadows and stuff uh, very well. And I, I kind of enjoyed doing that. The same will be seen in a couple of seconds when I do the area behind the glass, just using a lot more pale colors um, that, um, you know, I'm just using the same colors as I did before for the habitat and then just kind of choosing to go for a way more pale tone of the same color pattern in order to, you know, create the feeling of it being behind glass. Um, so all these kind of things applied very nicely. And you can see also uh, this is, I think it's gonna call the smear tool, whatever, um, but you know what I mean. It's kind of, you know, merging these colors together and it just kind of also creates that little bit of a um, texture because the more texture you're lacking the more weird it looks and you always have to you know kind of find the balance between not too many textures because that's work you know looking too realistic rather soon um, and too less or too little texture where what it makes makes it looks too flat um, but i think you know as soon as i started to add the layer of the heavy foliage which basically um, was having uh, no transparency to it uh, it just kind of all started to come alive and i really enjoyed this process overall um, i learned a lot during doing this and I, I really hope that i can apply that in the future again uh, because it was a lot of fun to bring this vision to life and as I am working on the in-game habitat right now, um, I can already tell that this was a tremendous help um, and made the process of building that a lot quicker. Also, that said, I'm going to try something completely different this time around with the presentation of the video. So be prepared for a very different video of mine. Um, I'm just, you know, on the verge of changing a couple of things just to see what you guys like and if, if there's a way of presenting some of the videos in a different way. Um, so you guys have to tell me. Um, and also, I will definitely need your help uh, sooner than later um, about how you like the content the most because I have the feeling that the last couple months um, haven't seen seen too much of an improvement um, on my channel, which uh, was mostly down to the time limitations I had, uh, thanks to my daughter, um, which, you know, is potentially the, the best ever reason to have that. But, you know, um, as things settle down a bit, um, I want to see some improvements. And um, if you have some about my channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe a, a sound quality. Uh, maybe you want to have shorter videos. Maybe you want to have longer videos. Maybe you want to have... Uh, I don't know, some more hints at the beginning or whatever you would like, please let me know in the comments down below because that just always helps me to improve dramatically. But yeah, you can see I'm adding now a couple of details and these details really make this um, you know, concept come to life and uh, I am really, really pleased with how it turned out and I really hope that you guys can give me some feedback in the comments how you like the design and please fear not to comment on the design. So if you see some things that you, you know, you feel like um, these couldn't be too realistic, let me know. Obviously the fences and stuff are um, held somewhat simple in this concept art because otherwise it, it would have looked a bit more messy um, But I'm very very much aware of the fact that we have to pay a bit more attention to some of the some of the edges because it would technically be a lot too less secure at this point but you know let me know in the comments down below if you did spot something else um, I certainly have a couple of little things nothing too crazy nothing major um, that I would change in the final design there's one specific thing which is quite big I'm going to change in the uh, final result but I'm not going to talk about that because I found this very special this uh, this idea came a day later than I was doing that concept I just saw that again and I was like oh my god why didn't I do that 
Um, so I'm very excited to show that to you. But obviously at the very end I'm going to put um, the animal that goes into there uh, onto this wonderful log over here. Because I don't know if you've seen that, but the Amir Leopard actually comes with a brand new chilling animation on one of these logs. Actually, the one animation we were all waiting for and, you know, here you can see now the final result of the concept art. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Yes, it's true, we just looked at concept art, but um, I think it's equally important. I really do hope you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy, please guys, do me a favor and comment down below or just like the video, show some engagement that would help me out a lot in this summer drain. Uh, and I'm hope I'm hoping that you do good, that you are you know well, and um, stay safe everyone, have a good time. Thank you so much for watching as always, and goodbye.